Hi, welcome and I hope you're doing well. In this video here, what I'll be doing is a teardown on this Dell G5 desktop. This is a gaming desktop, brand new out the box. And I'd like to take it apart and show you what are the components, what are the stuff in the computer here, and we go from there, all right? So this is the front, and as you can see that the angle on the camera is not um, far away enough. I can't show you the entire desktop, but what I'll be doing is I'll move the desktop up and down, and at least you can see uh, what I'm talking about. All right, so at the very top right corner here is the power button, and this power button underneath, you have the microphone, the headphone jack, the three USB uh, 3.0, and this is the USB-C. All right, so here is actually the lighting for it, this computer is not power on so you can't see the light but you will get to see the green or blue light here and if you go further down here you can see the Dell logo at the bottom right corner and this is the Intel i5 the 10th generation you might have the i7 um, or the i9 depends but yeah so if you want to do the CPU upgrade you can do that as well all right so here's the side panel and here's the back of the computer and the back here you have the uh, speaker jacks, right? So these are all the USB 3.0, USB 2.0, Ethernet jack. You have the graphics card here and your power supply here. All right, so there's only one side panel here on the right that you can remove. And it looks like the other side of the panel here is not removable. All right, so let me show you what is at the very bottom here. So the very bottom, it just pretty much it tell you the model number, and here it says the Dell regular model is D28M. I'm not sure what that stands for, but this is the G5. Uh, but if you need this information to you know uh, to match the video here, by all means you can do that. Now let's go ahead and remove the side panel. So there's uh, one screw here. And there's another screw at the bottom. Once you loosen up the two screw, you can actually slide the panel to your left. Once you slide it up, and you can just lift up the side panel. Now, once the side panel is removed, you get to see the internal part of the computer. Now, I'll explain to you what are the components you can add onto the computer. And as you can see on the top left corner here, you already have the two power cable and this two power cable allows you to power up the 2.5 inch hard drive. So you can squeeze the blue bracket, slide it up. As you can see, this is the 2.5 inch, uh, <coughs> excuse me, 2.5 inch hard drive. So either you can install the SSD drive just like so. You don't need to have the screw, you can just actually uh, move the pin, align that into the slot. And once you're in it, you can go ahead and install the 2.5 inch hard drive. So first you need to install the power. And then one thing is missing is the SATA cable, right? So you need to have the SATA cable installed into the computer and I'll show you to you right now. So it looks like the computer doesn't come with it. You need to get this SATA cable separately. Um, I will have all the uh, parts in the description below. It will direct you to Amazon uh, to get those parts in for yourself. All right. So to install it, you can go ahead and install it on the, on the uh, 2.5 inch hard drive. And then the next thing you want to do is to install the, the, the remaining cable here onto the computer. So it looks like this one here, you can go underneath right on this slot and that way you can install. So I apologize, I picked the short ones. Um, you actually need a longer one. So this one is about six inches or eight inches. So I would recommend you to pick something like 10 or 12 inches long, okay? So once you install it, go ahead and install the other corner on this slot right here. Then you should have the 
uh, additional hard drive to that um, 2.5 inch all right let's move on to the next component uh, the next component I would like to talk about is your RAM now here you have four slots right one two three and four the computer comes with one RAM so to remove the RAM I actually press the two little clipper so this clipper is kind of like go on to the RAM like hold on to it once you push it down the RAM will just come right out without any problem now if you take a look carefully right here it says it's a PC4 that stands for DDR4 RAM so this is a 8 gigs DDR4 RAM and actually you can go up to 32 so 8 8 8 8 so 16 16 that is 32 all right to install the RAM uh, it's very simple go ahead and make sure that you have the uh, RAM in the right position so this little gap right here has to go in 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 between this gap right there so once you have it in the right position like this and then when you push it down the clipper would lock it down by itself see you hear that click that that shows that the clipper is clicked onto the RAM now let's move on to the uh, the next part right here I would like to talk about is the hard drive this computer here comes with the M.2 SSD drive this is the 512 M.2 it actually on a smaller slot right here it's not the longest slot so there are two types of M.2 this is the shorter one and you can actually go with the longer one as well all you need to do is to move this screw right here over to this slot so this is the regular M.2 size of it as you can see the M.2 is a bit longer compared to the original um, one that is a lot shorter so what you can do is you can actually remove this okay once you remove this screw you want to slide the heart the M.2 to your left to remove it out right so this is the thing that you want to twist it you twist it I can't do it right now but you can remove this one and put into the second slot uh, it's just pretty straightforward it's just like a screw like this you turn left to unscrew it and then move the slot backwards a little bit back and then turn to your right to install it alright so once you install you can install the regular M.2 size drive and then put that screw back onto it to, to close it okay that's how you um, change out to the regular size now I'm I do have a separate video uh, the separate video is to show you how to clone if you want to clone this regular hard drive to a, a bigger one I have a separate video for you check the description below alright to move on to the next I like to talk about is the regular hard drive so this computer here it comes with the M.2 plus the secondary drive secondary drive is the regular uh, hard drive so what I need to do is actually you need to remove the uh, front cover there are three little clippers so kind of lift it up and push a little bit or actually four of them so lift it up push it a little bit and you can slide out the uh, front panel now the front panel like I said there's one cable right here this cable is actually the lighting for the front so just make sure that you you're not breaking the the lighting here so I'm just gonna leave it hanging like this if you want to disconnect this is the cable here for you to disconnect the front okay so what I wanted to do is to remove the um, the hard drive so this is the one terabyte as a secondary drive and remove that screw so let's go ahead and disconnect the cable first so this is the power cable this is the SATA cable right so make sure that you have them and then to remove it let me see all right so actually what you need to do is just to lift it up right 
so the way it does is there's a uh, the clipper right here on both sides is sliding so if to install you gotta push it down right stick it all the way to the to the base and then push it down to install to remove it you got to lift it up and then it just come out all right so this is like like i said it's the one terabyte hard drive and if you feel like the um you don't have enough space you want to upgrade to like two terabyte or four terabyte um, you can actually this is your secondary drive here all right so let's put that on the side here i like to talk about the uh the wi-fi so this computer does come with the wi-fi which is right here okay and let's talk about what do you want me to talk about um so these two slots right here the seda goes for the the uh, 2.5 inch right here right that is for that um let's talk about all right the graphics card okay let's go ahead and install this thing back on first so let's put that on this let's slide it in once i have the thing slide in Once I have the thing slide in, just go ahead and close it back on. Okay, let's talk about the graphics card. So this graphics card right here, um, it has a six pin connector. So this power supply, sorry, this power supply allows you to have either six pin connector or eight pin connector or both of them, right? So if you want to upgrade your power supply and you like to know how wide this is, let me go ahead and measure it for you. So this is right about right this original graphics card is about six inches, right? So if you can go up to some graphics card can go up to eight inches or maybe nine. I think anything nine or 10, if you're comfortable with it, uh, but anything longer than that, you do not have enough sp space. So technically the max space is about 10 inches, right? You try not to push all the way to 11 inches. All right, so this is the graphics card. Like I said, uh, if you want to upgrade the graphics card, you can make sure that you have enough power from the power supply to fit it in so there's a six pin connector and an eight pin connector now once you remove this back panel right here go ahead and push this little clipper and then go ahead and lift up the graphics card all right so once you lift up the graphics card and if, as you can see this is the 1660 ti i believe uh is original um by Dell, right? So I think they built this proprietary just for Dell. Uh, this is from NVIDIA GTX GeForce. Okay. Now uh, let's talk about what else do you want, want me to talk about? Let's talk about the um, the power supply, right? So if you're curious to know if you can upgrade the power supply, like I said, this power supply is proprietary. As you can see, this base right here this base right here is locked onto it so you can see this little black metal let's go ahead and remove this this metal and take a look what is in there all right so there are two screws once you remove that go ahead and slide the uh, this metal bracket to your right and once you slide it out you can remove it now this actually shows you the expose of the power supply and this power supply here uh, let's go ahead and remove it for you okay so what you want to do is you want to remove the four screws right so this four screw holds on three screws hold on to the power supply so let me go ahead and remove it So once I remove the three screws, uh, the next thing you want to do is lay down the computer. Now you can see this little blue clipper right here, this little blue stuff. All right, so this clipper right here, you need to push it down and you slide the power supply to your right 
and then that's how you remove it okay so that's how you replace the power supply now the power supply is proprietary you can't upgrade the power supply like I said because it's built by Dell right you can't increase to a bigger power supply um, even though if you try to increase it what happened is that let me let me install it back in first for you okay so even if you try to increase the power supply uh, wait let me go ahead and tell you the model number here so this model number here is there I can't read it it's too small but yeah if you pause the video you can try to find the power supply now what I'm trying to say is even if you try to increase the power supply to a larger size what happened is that the you see how that the opening is only this big and you try to buy a bigger power supply it won't fit in the regular power supply is way thicker than this and it's way bigger than this this size right here so if you go with the full power supply just because you want to increase your, you know your graphics card and whatnot this is not going to fit so don't bother to send me that comment and ask if you can increase the power supply I already explained here in this video what else I need to talk about yeah so pretty much that's it if you want to install an exhaust fan uh, in the front there's no fan in the front as you can see if you want to upgrade the fan in the front here um, I believe that you can do it probably it's gonna be like uh, uh, you're gonna jerry rig the thing meaning that you're gonna mount it with a zip tie or twist tie something like that to hold a fan for you but other than that you can actually increase a, a, a bigger exhaust fan here in the back this is too small if you think this is 80 millimeters too small I think you can put a bigger one right here if you want so other than that that's about it and um, before you go and please click the like button subscribe to the channel I hope that my explanation on this computer uh, is is what you need to hear and if you have any question comment below I'll make um, more video about this this product all right thank you take care and good luck